What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com, and today we're supposed to be getting ready for the news, but we just had to let you know about this really cool update to Audio Evolution Mobile Studio, and it's been updated to version 4.1.0. And it addresses some of the things that we were having an issue with when we were demoing it out on the live stream, as well as just trying to use it to record songs and things like that. Some things that we felt would make the workflow just a touch better. The developer has graciously responded with this update that addresses the following things. The key cannot be selected properly in VocalTune Pro on iPhones. That's now been solved added presets button for vocal tune pro new tempo settings dialogue added an option recording only to metronome settings and this one is big the way that we like to really operate is only to have the metronome on during recording not really having to commit to it being on or off for recording and playback etc at the same time we just want it on for recording because we don't really need a metronome if we've got the whole beat already formulated we just want it to automatically cut on when we want to record something in and then cut off when it's time to play it back so this is a very big deal seems small but for workflows it's annoying to keep toggling the metronome button on and off if you have a similar preference to the metronome that we do and the metronome option left channel only did not work. That's also been solved. And the metronome volume can now be set while playing slash recording. And the big one, the one that really, really gets me, the, everything that we've already talked about on this list is pretty cool. But this is what really took this update over the top and compelled me to make a video about this real quick is these new keyboard shortcuts. Shift plus L gives you loop, a comma gives you rewind, a period gives you forward, Q gives you mute, W gives you solo, backspace deletes the track, which was a big one that we wanted, escape gives you next, and the semicolon increases the grid size and the apostrophe, or is that a quote? I don't know. Either is an apostrophe or a single quote that decreases the grid size. Arrow left and right selects the previous or the next clip. And this is available for expert mode only, which we went over in this video here. C gives you copying again. That's also expert mode only. X gives you a cut again. Expert mode only. V gives you paste. Do I need to say it again? Expert mode only. Shift plus S splits the track, and this is going to be so cool for fast editing to be able to split the track with a simple keyboard shortcut, as well as delete it or cut it or copy or paste all without having to go back and touch the various items on the app with your finger or with your mouse is going to be very nice. And lastly, we have enter, which opens the piano roll. And this is for expert mode only as well. So our request to the developer was, could we get something in the shortcuts that were a bit more like how Cubasis 3.2 was able to really make the most out of the key commands to control that app. And not to say they copied Cubasis 3.2 or if this was even inspired by Cubasis 3.2, but they have answered the call and the similarities are just there because we don't have many apps that give you all the keyboard shortcuts like we would be accustomed to on a desktop. So it just is sort of similar to what we get in Cubasis 3.2, but by no means is one copying the other. Now, with that being said, if you are a Audio Evolution mobile user, what do you think of this update? Is this a game changer for you on iOS or even Android if you're using it there and this update is applicable there? Is this app going the direction that you want it to with these kind of updates? Do you want it to go more towards having keyboard shortcuts and some of these more traditional desktop class elements? Or would you want the DAW to go a different direction? 
Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. What has your experience been with Audio Evolution Mobile? Let us know. But with that said, we got to get back on top of getting the news ready for tomorrow. And of course, that premieres at one o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Pacific. I don't know what time that is in other parts of the world, but y'all have been rocking with us long enough. If you're watching this video, you probably also have checked out the news. So I'm sure I'll see you there. Be sure to check out the premiere and we will see you there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you aren't currently subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, beats, tutorials, sales, and more. And be sure to check out some of the best kits available for iOS at iPadBeatMaking.com. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.